And good evening. Welcome to Stellar Pot TV. I'm your host, NJW, and I'm back with another crime news episode on Black Girls News. For anyone to have been, to have gone that way, to left this life under those circumstances, no one, no one deserved that. Such a beautiful girl it didn't bother anybody. I believe in my heart that it was homicide. And uh, someone did this to her. And basically what our family want is closure. The Shelby County coroner confirms to WLKY that Angel's death is expected to turn into a criminal investigation. Justice for Angel and what happened to Angel are circulating on social media regarding the death of Christiana Angel Walker, a woman who was found dead inside a Spencer County home burned in a fire. The 35-year-old mother was found by Kentucky State Police on May 29, 2023. At this time, police aren't releasing any information, but the family just wants to know what truly happened to their angel. Angel was 35 years old and from Kentucky. The Taylorsville native was described as caring, giving, and ambitious. She was also a great mother to her young son. Family and friends said she was an absolute beautiful soul with a smile that could light up a room. However, sometimes that smile was hard, especially when thinking of her father. It wasn't shared what year her father had passed away, but in a post shared on social media back in 2019, she stated how she deeply missed him. And after the passing of her father, she inherited over 250 acres of land, a beautiful environment out of the way for her. Now that's a lot of land that her dad left her, 250 acres? of land our goodness her and her son subsequently angel also found love not too long ago and got married to her husband eddie according to her facebook they celebrated their one year anniversary in august 2020. welcome family friends and loved ones we gather here today to celebrate the wedding of christiana and eddie we have come here to share this formal commitment they make to each other to offer our love and support to this union and allow them to start their married life together. Marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure of human relationships. No ceremony can correct your marriage, only you can do that. Through love and through patience, through dedication and perseverance, through talking and listening, and learning to make the important things matter and just let go of the rest. What this ceremony can do is to witness and affirm the choice you make to stand together as husband and as wife. And before we exchange the vows, I'd ask you to remember that love will be the foundation of abiding and deepening your relationship. All right, time for the vows. Christiana, you take at it to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, richer or for poor, in sickness and in health. Not many details were given on the nature of their relationship. His social media shared that he previously worked at Verizon, but studied real estate and marketing at UC College. Reports also shared that Eddie is currently a business owner in Cincinnati, Ohio. From the looks of Angel's personal social media page, the two may have started the business together. She shared before and after images of the business, as well as the final product when the doors opened back in September 2021. Looks like they was headed in the right direction, opening businesses and everything together, and I wonder what the problem was, really.
got a log up in there. That's nice and big and open, open spaced. Everything, that's nice. <laughs> The business eventually grew and still growing with visits from numerous celebrities and influencers. It wasn't shared if Angel worked at the business or had any involvement in the most recent years. But sadly, on the one year anniversary of the club's most popular night, Angel was found dead in her Kentucky home and police have not released any real statements to the public or her family. New at 5.30, a family is grieving the loss of a Taylorsville woman found dead inside her home. Christiana Angel Walker has been identified as the woman whose remains were discovered inside a burning home a week ago. Right now, authorities are not releasing details surrounding her death. WLKY's Alexis Matthews explains why and how loved ones are dealing with this tragedy. According to reports, Kentucky State Police were called to the house fire just after 4 p.m. on Monday, May 29th. Once officials arrived, police said human remains were found inside. Flowers and a poem are in front of the Taylor's Villa. Yeah, I hate to assume at this stage of the investigation and everything like that, but that sounds like somebody wanted that land that has nothing to do with the husband or the wife. You know, they always take our land when it comes to stuff like that, or the land is being taken. You know, they didn't know she probably didn't know she exists. They thought once the daddy died that they was going to be able to get the land without any fight. You know, you, you, know, you never know these days, or those days, anyway. Home where Christiana Walker was found dead on Memorial Day. It wasn't until Monday that the coroner said the remains were identified as the 35 year old. Authorities discovered them inside her Chapman Lane house after responding there for a fire. The tragic nature of Walker's death is still shocking to family. Just days before the tragedy, Walker visited her aunt with neither of them knowing it would be the last time. I had a joy that day, not knowing that this was gonna come, but I'm so glad she was here. That's the longest that we have spent together. And there's really nothing that, uh, I think the only thing that I wish that I could say is goodbye. The Shelby County Coroner confirms to WLKY that Angel's death is expected to turn into a criminal investigation. And while an autopsy has been performed, details on it are not being released right now as do not compromise the case. Family and friends have been sharing under the hashtag what happened to Angel all over social media. Right now, one of the most concerning messages by family mentioned her son's whereabouts. I know investigations take time, but I truly do not understand why no family had been notified that the remains found were that of Angel. How a young boy was ripped away from his whole biological family and sent with a man the family barely knew because supposedly he adopted him two weeks ago. How a perfectly healthy 35 year old is gone and still no answers. At this time, no suspects have been named in this case and the cause of death is still to be determined. This information is being shared online by her family and friends in hopes of locating her son. If you or someone you know have any information about what happened to Angel Walker, feel free to contact your local authorities or Kentucky State Police. I will continue to keep 
homicide. That was all and, about uh, inheriting money, inheriting that land. Because they, they haven't told us who was the beneficiary of, for the land or anything of that sort. And they did say this, the, they didn't interview the husband, not once. If they were so close, why? He should have been the first person to interview, even though I'm the type, I'm a firm believer of, uh, if you so hurt, you cannot have, you cannot uh, conduct an interview. That's just how I feel. But I hope, I hope they find out what happened to this young lady. And I thank you guys for joining us. This has been the Christine Angel Walker story.